What's up, guys? Sid here. I uh, got a ton of stuff to go over with you guys. Um, I actually waited until later on in the day to do this, so I'm fresh. You know, I don't feel like shit, which I usually do in the mornings. My allergies aren't kicking my ass, so uh, you won't be hearing a lot of sniffling or coughing, hopefully. Uh, my wife's not here. Uh, took my daughter with her there in Wichita doing their thing, so... Good deal. Should have lots of peace and quiet and able to get this done nicely. It is going to be a long video. I'll just let you know that up front because there is a ton of stuff here, as you can see. Um, so be prepared. It is going to be a long video. Uh, today is the 3rd of February. I uh, got my income tax refund the other day, so treated myself. Um, spent close to $200 here. Uh, this stuff here in the bag in this box here is from uh, my friend Reggie's store. Uh, Reggie's Records. It's a record store slash antique bookstore slash uh, disc golf store. Uh, if you can believe that, all three of those things in one store. Um, good friend of mine, though. I had a blast hanging out with him, talking with him, and giving him some money, helping him keep in business. And then over here, we got uh, Hastings stuff, um, thrift store. Oh, that doesn't need to be in there. That's Hobby Lobby stuff. That's artist materials there. That doesn't need to be in there. But all to get, I think I spent about $180 with all this stuff. So we'll get right into it. Uh, we'll do the box first. So this box here, uh, everything in this box cost uh, 50 bucks. So... Uh, we got some cassette tapes. We got Rat, Reach for the Sky, uh, Fat Boys, Big and Beautiful. Uh, it's got the hit Sex Machine on there. Very cool. Um, Elvis, as recorded at Madison Square Garden. Nice old uh, Elvis cassette tape here. Then we got Johnny Cash. Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. Very cool. Did not have this one. And then we have Twisted Sister, Stay Hungry. Uh, Allison Krauss, Now That I Found You, a collection. Love Allison Krauss. Um, she's just got an amazing voice. Uh, part of my bluegrass collection there. And pick this up, Fish. Rift. Pick this up because of the uh, 8x10 signed photo I got just recently from Tom. Uh, figure I'd give him a listen. And more cassette tapes. We got Crocus the Blitz. A nice red box here. That's very cool. Uh, Batman. Original movie soundtrack. Michael Keaton, Jack Nicholson movie. Another rat tape. Uh, this is their self-titled debut. Great cover there. And the Eurythmics, 1984, for the love of Big Brother. There might be more cassette tapes in there, I don't know, but that's a good stack right there. Uh, got this as the CD-ROM comes flying out. But this is a, there we go, put that back in there, hopefully, maybe, probably not. Hang on, guys, technical difficulties. So anyway, this is The Art of Queen, The Eye. This is a uh, this video game that they worked on. So I thought this was really interesting. Uh, it's got a lot of nice uh, artwork in here. Never knew Queen worked on a video game. So I had to pick up this book to check it out. 
there's the band there. So that's pretty cool. Oh, got that. Got some comic books. Let's pull out the other ones here. Uh, Star Trek, number 31 and number 6. It's a nice old Disney one here. Walt Disney's Donald in Math Magic Land. This is in really, really nice shape. It's got a dinged corner there, but this is really nice. Uh, it's from 1959. I just cannot believe the condition that this is in. It's a Dell uh, four color, number 1198. Beautiful. Some GI Joes, number 60. Number 53, number 52, love that cover, and number 49. And then we have Star Blazers from Comico, uh, number two. Uh, now, Reggie knows uh, to hold stuff for me, that sign that comes in, uh, but unless it's signed, you know, right right away where he can see it, you know, he's not gonna, he's not gonna hold it back for me. Uh, and he didn't actually have anything for me this time, so everything that you're gonna, see, everything that you've seen and are going to see, is stuff that I found. Uh, he never really checks the books. I don't know why, um, but you guys know I do. Uh, this is the first signed item here. This is "Woman into Space," the Jerry Cobb story. Uh, she was the first woman to pass the rigorous tests given to astronauts. She hopes to be the first woman into space. Uh, that ended up not happening, but what's really cool is that she is here from. Uh, Oklahoma signed it right there May 1963 with best wishes God bless you Jerry Cobb and that is when the book came out so she did a little signing for when this book came out very cool this is the second Jerry Cobb signed book that I found I'll probably keep this one this is a nice Really nice, cool vintage one here. Um, this is her here. I'll probably go ahead and sell the other one. It's a newer book, soft cover, so I'll sell that one. I'll keep this one. So very happy to find that. Uh, this was kind of cool. He found this one for me as I was there looking around. Uh, this is the wolf. Uh, by Sergeant Leonard Sansone. Assuming he did the cartoons here. Yep. But they're uh, cartoons. They're uh, war cartoons. Let's see about the copyright if there is one. 1945. So World War II cartoons uh, where the man in uniform is a wolf. So just interesting. It's just cool. So I snatched this up. Very neat book. Uh, this one was kind of neat as well. Hoaxes, humbugs, and spectacles. Astonishing photographs of smelt, wrestlers, human projectiles, giant hailstones, contortionists, elephant impersonators, and much more. So, all kinds of cool vintage photographs of medical anomalies and feats of strength and magicians. I know Houdini's in here in a couple photos. There he is. But lots of circus type stuff. Giants and dwarves. There's Houdini again. Just, just cool. It's cool. Again, just interesting book. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, this one was really cool. This is the House of Windsor, a book of portraits. And that's exactly what this book is. Uh, first published 1937. Printed in Great Britain. And it's actual portraits. Each page is... Uh, uh, I believe this is onion paper. Each page is covered... Each portrait is covered by... Uh, a piece of onion paper and it's actual uh, basically pencil portraits there's the Duke of Kent the Duchess of 
Gloucester, if I said that correctly. Her Majesty the Queen. Her Majesty Queen Mary. So just really cool. Um, love the art in here. So I had to I had to pick this up. Uh, we got another autograph book here. Again, I already have a copy of this, but I think I'm going to hang on to this one. Uh, this is Oklahoma City, the official commemorative volume in their name. Uh, this was due. This came out uh, when the Oklahoma City bombing happened. They did this special book, uh, the tragedy at uh, the Alfred P. Murrah Federal Building in Oklahoma City on April nineteenth, nineteen ninety-five. Now, the book was signed by First Lady Kathy Keating. Uh, Wife of then Governor Frank Keating. Uh, there was a signing at Brace Books. And here's a little bookmark advertising that, and here is the actual ticket. Um, this person was number 80 in line. And there is the autograph there, First Lady Kathy Keating. Now, I have a copy of this, like I said, already signed, but it doesn't have all this uh, little extra stuff here, so I'll probably keep this one and sell the other one. So, guys, if you're interested in a Kathy Keating signed book, um, or a Jerry Cobb signed book, please let me know. I will sell or trade. So, here's scenes from the tragedy here. Just an awful event. So there's that. Uh, this was kind of a cool book. One for a Man, Two for a Horse by Gerald Carson. A pictorial history, grave and comic of patent medicines. Uh, recalling in words and pictures the fads, follies, and foibles of self-doctoring in Grandpa's day. Hundreds of rare old pictures, posters, photographs, almanacs, and advertisements. So there you have it, folks. All kinds of really nice pictures, uh, engravings, posters of all the ointments and pills and medications that they had way, way, way back when and what they were supposed to do for you. Just fun stuff. Really nice book in fantastic condition. Let's see. It's probably late 70s, early 80s. Da, 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 da. And of course, it's a Roman numeral, which I have no idea. So I don't know when this came out, but again, just a neat book. There's that. Uh, I got a cool record here. I'm going to have to repair the jacket, though, obviously, but check it out. Here are three exciting Christmas stories with Superman, Wonder Woman, and Batman. Peter Pan Records, great cover. I think that that's Neil Adams, but I'm not positive. So that is awesome. Another signed book I found. This is Cornbread Aristocrat by Claude Garner. And it is signed right there on the title page, Claude Garner. Really nice vintage signed book here. Copyright 1950. This is the first edition of this book. Uh, it was laterly, laterly. <laughs> it was later reprinted by uh, Signet in, into a paperback form, which is kind of cool. Uh, this guy is from Arkansas. Uh, he is deceased, but it's just kind of cool. This was the first edition of this book uh, that was later reprinted by Signet. Uh, I believe he published four or five books. Not super well known, but still a neat find. Uh, we got a couple of Bill Malden paperbacks. I figured I'd start kind of a little PC, little collection of Bill Malden since I've been picking up his books. Uh, we have Back Home and What's Got Your Back Up. 
So a bunch of Bill Malden cartoons in here. And this is 1961. Popular library paperbacks. This is Bantam. It's got cartoons and uh, a lot of text to read. Uh, Bantam edition published 1948. So that's pretty cool. Good stuff. Uh, what else we got? This one was kind of cool. I just had to grab it up. Sir Farts a Lot. Hunts the Booger. It's a little lenticular cover here. If you can see that. There we go. And this is an advanced reader's copy, not for sale. It says right there, attention reader, this is not a finished book. Sir farts a lot. Some great pictures in here. Uh, I think I'll read this with Ayla. Fun book. In fantastic condition. Came out in 2008. Just kind of kind of fun. Uh, then we have this. This is very cool. This is good old Charlie Brown, a new Peanuts book. Great collection of uh, Peanuts comic strips here. I used to have a huge collection of Peanuts books, but I ended up selling them. But I had to pick this one up. Uh, it's a fifth printing from 1958, so that's pretty pretty old. And it's in really nice condition. So I had to pick that up. Uh, this was cool. Another signed book here. little book, uh, Mother Goose in the Ozarks by Ray Wood and drawings by Ed Hargis. Signed right there. Uh, I should say, to you, Alva Reese, or Alva or something. Sincerely, Ray Wood, and he is from Ray Wood, Texas. So that's kind of cool. And that's what that is, Raywood, Texas. And there's the author and the artist. Really cool little cartoons. This is from 1938, guys. Uh, I'm not going to show too many of these because some of these are have some racial um, lines and whatnot in them. I don't know if that's what I'm trying to say. You get what I'm trying to say. So, interesting little book. Got this, The Private Elvis. Paperback, nice photos in there. I got a few uh, Elvis paperbacks I'll show you. 1975. There's the first one. Oh, this one's cool. Deliverance from James Dickey, now a sensational movie. This is the movie tie-in. Great, great film. If you've never seen it, I urge you to go watch it. You've got three great actors, John Voight, Burt Reynolds, and uh, Ned Beatty. Ronnie Cox is pretty good, too. There's that. Here's the other Elvis Presley book, Entertainer of the Century. Uh, this is 1977. Again, we got a bunch of great photographs there in the center. Should be one more Elvis book. There we go. Elvis, a biography by Jerry Hopkins. It's got some of the pictures coming out, though, unfortunately, on that one. Looks like a fifth printing, 1975. Still very cool. And I got another Eric Sloan book for my collection, Recollections in Black and White. Guys, know I love me some Eric Sloan, amazing pen and ink artist. Great stuff here. 1977. Alright, there's that. Got another movie tie in here. This is Gremlins. It's in rough shape. Eight pages of full color photos in the center here. There's the back. And 
Johnny Cash close up. From Scholastic. This is a nice vintage book here. Uh, some great photographs. The man in black. First printing, 1971. Very cool. Now, there's a couple of more things in there, but I'll wait until after I show you what else I got from him. So, Reggie told me uh, 50 bucks for all this, and all I have is 100 so I had to go, I had to go uh, break a $100 bill. And I went to the thrift store and got some stuff, which I'll show you in a minute. So when I came back, he had found me a bunch of more stuff, which one of them was this comic book. The Adventures of Jerry Lewis. This is issue number 77. Nice 12 center from DC. Looks like 1963 is the copyright date. It's in okay shape for 1963. And he said, you can just have that. I was like, what? He said, dude, don't worry about it. I just found it. You can have it. I said, all right. So that was free. And he had also found a bunch of records. We'll get to this one in a minute. So I ended up giving him another $20 for the records. Here we have Goofy Gold, Horror Sounds of Terror. I'll look inside here real quick. Already at 20 minutes. I wonder if anybody's going to watch this video. There's two records in here. There's Goofy Gold and The Sounds of Terror. So that's kind of cool. There's two different records. And of course, we don't want to go back in there now. So now the video gets to be even longer. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so Goofy Gold, great cover. Thrillers and Chillers from Troll Records, 1973. A couple of stories here, Monkey's Paw, The Telltale Heart. Very cool. Scary Spooky Stories from Troll Records, again, 1973. Awesome. And we have Night in a Graveyard. Spectacular cover. Recorded live on the estate of Count Dracula. Spend a night in this graveyard if you dare. Super cool. And we'll take a break from the horror stuff. Check out The Adventures of the Lone Ranger. Original radio stories featuring the Lone Ranger, Tonto, Silver, Dan Reed, and assorted villains. It says 1957, but I don't know if it's from 1957. Looks newer than that. And it says 1957. Now that's really cool. Just looked too nice to be 1957. Well, that's really cool. Alright. This is an interesting one here. Buffalo Bob Smith live at Bill Graham's Fillmore East, the creator of Howdy Doody. And there's a sticker on here, special stereo special DJ record. Performance recorded April 4th, 1971. It's a gatefold cover here. Very, very cool. Interesting stuff for sure. There's the back cover. Then we got Bugs Bunny, 1975 Warner Brothers Records and Peter Pan Records. Bugs Bunny, Three Funny Stories. And it comes with uh, the comic book inside. Very cool stuff. Had to snatch that up. And this one here, Vincent Price, Witchcraft and Magic, an adventure in demonology. He had a price of $20 on here. 
Never seen or heard about this record before. From Capitol Records. Uh, the Secrets of Witchcraft and Magic Revealed by Vincent Price, Distinguished Actor and Demonologist. How to Make Love Potions, Charms, Spells, and Curses. Raising the Devil, The Witch's Sabbath. Very, very cool stuff. There's one of the records there. Uh, I don't see a year, unfortunately, that this came out, but I'd say early 70s. Uh, there's a little booklet here, which is kind of cool. Okay, there we go. 1969, Capitol Records. I know you can't see that because my <coughs> camera's making it blurry. But that's very cool. It still has the little booklet and everything. It's got to be something pretty rare. Very, very cool. So after I paid for everything, and then as I was leaving, he says, I got something else signed for you. I said, what's that? He said, some of my poetry. Signed it right there, dated it. He signed uh, each each thing here. So that's very cool. I'll be reading his poetry and checking it out. Little stories and whatnot. So very cool. So here's all the stuff from Reggie's. Now we'll look at the other stuff. Uh, this is the thrift store I went to to break that hundred. Got a DVD for my wife facing the Giants. CD tattoo. The Russian lesbians. Some VHS. We got the California Raisins. Meet the Raisins. Very, very cool. On Mayer video. 1988. This is badass. This is the ring from DreamWorks. It's, this is a clear box. This is the actual box the video is in. I have never seen this before. Never seen that before. Very, very cool. This movie scared the crap out of me. And a nice... Uh, Vintage Warner Clamshell, The Enforcer, starring Clint Eastwood. Another Dirty Harry movie. So very cool. Uh, let's see, uh, I don't remember how much I spent on that stuff. I think it was like 2 or $3 for all that. And Hastings, I got some Silver Age comic backing boards. And some Silver Age comic bags. Picked up the new issue of Horror Hound magazine. This is an, an incredible issue. It's got a great article on uh, Bigfoot in the movies, as well as a nice article on the upcoming horror movies of 2015. Some stuff I never knew was coming out. So I urge you guys to pick up the latest issue. And there's a great Tremors retrospective as well. Uh, Pick this up. Zombie movies, the ultimate guide. This is. Everything everything you want to know about zombie movies. There's lots of movies in here I've never heard of. Paid eleven dollars and forty nine cents for this. It was used. So a great deal on this book. We got some color photos in, in the center here. Very cool. Zombie movies. And then I got a bunch of DVDs. Got Wrong Turn 6, picked this up for a buddy of mine. Got Expendables on Blu-ray. Now, the sticker there you see says $9.99. I only paid $7.99. So I don't know if there was a secret sale I didn't know anything about or what the case may be, but Expendables 3 on Blu-ray. So I have 1 through 3 now on Blu-ray. This I have been wanting forever. The $6 million man. Pilot TV movies in season one. Only $16.99 because it was used. 
I've been wanting to see the Six Million Dollar Man for years. It took forever for them to release it on DVD, and it took forever for me to actually start buying them. But I did yesterday. First season right here. Cannot wait to watch it. Looking forward to it. Uh, then we have Dead Snow Part 2. The first one was incredible. I've been waiting to see this. I finally will be able to see it. Starring Derek Mears. Very cool. A couple more left, guys. Just about done. Been wanting to pick this up forever, too, at a reasonable price. Finally got it for $4.99, brand new. This is probably the best, best multi-pack horror collection out there. So you got Waxwork, 976 Evil 2, Ghoulies 3, The, Unho the Unholy, Chud 2, Chopping Mall, Slaughter High, and Class of 1999. Awesome. Good stuff. Picked this up because it has a YouTube friend of mine in it, Bradley Crienzo. This is the Bible Belt Slasher, the Holy Terror. Looking forward to checking that out. He was in the uh, VHS Collector's Documentary, Adjust Your Tracking. And last but not least, this is the Dead and the Damned 2. Very cool. Cool looking zombie movie. Never heard of it. Hopefully it's something pretty good. And that's it, guys. 31 minutes. That's everything. Uh, hope you enjoyed it all. Hope some of you actually watched the whole thing. I apologize for the length. I don't tell my woman that, though. And I will talk to you guys later. See you.